Okay, so hello, good morning dear students in GSTS. Today we will have the discussion on the historical antecedents in the course of science and technology, specifically the Sumerian civilization. By the end of the discussion, you should have first discussed the interactions between science and technology and society throughout history. Second, discussed how scientific and technological developments affect society and the environment. And lastly, identify the paradigm shifts in history. So first of the concerns during the ancient times. So what were the reasons behind uh, the development in the early civilizations, specifically the ancient civilizations? So first, the need for transportation. So people uh, before wants to explore uh, possible areas for resources, okay, for agriculture, and they need also transportation for their produce to be traded to other people or to other communities. Navigation for exploration of possible uh, other communities, communication for transaction, for trading, for economic purposes, record keeping for the next generation to have a view of the customs, the traditions, and other important uh, ideas that they need to transfer. Mass production because of the growing population of the people, they need to mass produce uh, in order to supply the needs of the community. What else? They are also concerned of security and protection. Why? Because uh, of the diversity of the people uh, to protect also their resources okay, and to prevent invaders to colonize or to invade their uh, area. So they need to secure their place. Help because of the growing uh, illnesses, uh, uh, diseases. They need to cons continuously uh, seek or discover with the use of herbal medicines, the use of organic uh, materials in order to address this concern. Aesthetics, uh, in terms of beautification, cosmetics, okay, they're known for the early uh, introduction of uh, cosmetics, okay, such as the Egyptian civilization, in which we will discuss soon, and architecture. So, ancient architecture is very visible until now, okay, the evidences of their grandest and the uh, beauty and art of architecture during that time, okay? Uh, where is Sumerian civilization and Mesopotamian civilization located? So it is uh, the heartland of Somerley between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers in what the Greeks later called the Mesopotamia. So we're going to locate it uh, in the geographical location uh, in the world, it is uh, the northern part of uh, Arabian uh, Peninsula. Yeah. And in what the Greeks called the Mesopotamia. The ancient Sumerians or the black-headed ones live in the southern part of what is now called Iraq. <clears throat> Next, uh, the Sumerians were characteristically inventive and are likely to have been responsible for the development of the first writing system. So, well, before 3000, before the Common Era, Sumerians were recording their language using simple pictures. They wrote on tablets of clay, later evolving the script that to us is known as the cuneiform or the wedge-shaped writing system, just like the illustration uh, given. Next, bookkeeping is very important to them and are very detailed records were put on clay tablets of offerings, rations, taxes, and agricultural work were features of Sumerian life. They were energetic farmers, traders, and sailors. The religion recognized many gods or polytheistic belief. Rituals as well as parties were enlivened by skillful harpists and singers. Sumerian musical instruments 
have been excavated by modern archaeology. So that's the reason, uh, a very important uh, manifestation that they have an existing culture, customs, and happenings already. The Uruk city. So the Uruk was the first major city in the summer built in the 15th, 5th century BC and it's considered one of the largest Sumerian settlements and most important religious centers in Mesopotamia. Uh, it is the center of their trade, center of religious gatherings. It was continuously inhabited from about 5000 BC up to the 5th century AD. So it's just like the metropolitan center during that time where in uh, gatherings, uh, trade, and other important uh, events are happening. The Great Ziggurat of Ur. The Great Ziggurat of Ur is the mountain of God. It is constructed using the sun-baked bricks. It is a sacred place and only their priests were allowed to enter. So it is, uh, it is the center of their religious gathering. The temple showcases the elaborate and intricate Sumerian architecture, which is... Uh, the foundation of early architecture during that time. And it's uh, a great influence on uh, architecture. The remarkable technology used to build it is very evident also. Just like the pyramids, just like the other ancient architecture present. Irrigation and dikes. So it is built to bring water to farmlands to control flooding of rivers, and it's considered as one of the world's most beneficial engineering works. Truly, uh, even at up to date, okay, irrigation and dikes are very important in uh, agriculture, in farming, because it supplies water, it uh, prevents flooding also, and it increases the food production of people during that time. So, year-long farming. So they do not need to wait for the rainy season to, to come, but they have already a good supply of water for their farmlands. So it became a very beneficial uh, engineering or uh, um, engineering and structural uh, aid for them to have the beautiful production, food production. Okay? Furthermore, uh, they use sailboats for transportation through the waterways uh, because of the presence of irrigation and dikes. So it used to carry large quantities of products for trading to cover large distances to foster culture information and technology. Uh, even now, uh, during our time, seafaring okay, or marine transportation is very important uh, for transporting goods transporting important essential products from one place to another. Wheel and plow. So for farm works and wood processes or for mass production, the use of wheel and plow became uh, beneficial in farming, okay, in uh, mass production to dig the earth in a faster pace so as to plant the seeds. So the <coughs> use of wheel and plow uh, were evident uh, during that time. Roads, okay, to travel faster and easier. And even now, uh, we are using roads for our transportation, very useful in transporting. Made of sun-baked bricks laid on the ground, use beauty men. Beauty men is a black, sticky substance similar to what are we using now as asphalt. So they... Uh, they are being tested by time, okay, by seasonal changes. And until now, some of the sun-baked bricks are, are present. Unlike our cemented uh, roads, okay, that are not uh, resilient to uh, seasonal changes, okay. Next, we have the other inventions of the Sumerian civilization. It includes cylinder seal. It is a small round cylinder with figurative scenes or written characters or both etched on them. It's invented around 3500 BC in southern Mesopotamia. 
They were used as an administrative tool, a form of signature jewelry, and as magical amulets. So very important uh, invention to the on that time because it is used for record keeping for uh, also magical amulets because they believe in the power of yeah, amulets. Also, the copper fabrication. Sumerians were known to be the first users of copper, the earliest non-precious metal known. The archaeological evidence states that they harnessed the skill of extracting or mining and working with copper around 5,000 to 6,000 years ago. Sumerians used copper in making heads of arrows for their weapons, for protection, razors, for aesthetics, for uh, beautific beautification, harpoons, instruments, musical instruments, and many other small objects. They also began making vessels, chisels, and jugs from copper, which reveal excellent craftsmanship of the Sumerians. So very important ang copper sa kanila. And until now, we are using copper for our products in electronics, okay, in uh, other materials. Okay, what else? Time. The world was definitely aware of the day and night system. But yet again, Sumerians were the first ones to divide the passage of time. They introduced passage of weeks, months, and years to the world. The Sumerians did the astronomical calculation in base system of 60. Their work was appreciated and accepted throughout Eurasia. So the use of time is very important to them in trading, in... Uh, agriculture in uh, all aspects of their life. That's why the influence of the use of time is spread throughout Eurasia and of course until now we are very uh, <clears throat> affected with time and it is very useful. And what else? Lunar calendar. So it is believed that the Sumerians were possibly the first to develop the lunar calendar or the use of the moon as a basis for their calendar. It is entirely based on the recurrence of lunar phases or the phases of the moons used to count the 12 months. So one complete cycle of the phases of the moon for them is one month. The Sumerians observed two seasons, summer and winter. And the sacred marriage rites were performed on New Year. So their New Year is... Um, Allotted for marriages. Okay, they use the phases of the moon to count 12 lunar months as a year. It's very similar to our existing calendar. It's the Gregorian calendar in which we count uh, one year equivalent to 12 months also. Okay, so what else? Uh, the numerical system, another significant invention of the Sumerians known as the sexagesimal uh, system. The reason behind this invention was out of the urgent need of keeping the records for their traded harvest. Gradually, they started using a small clay cone to denote the number 1. So the number is increasing uh, and the symbol is also increasing. So meaning, a very important uh, ang number because of trading or communication uh, for economic, yan. so for counting or calculating their money. Similarly, a ball denoted the number 10 and a large clay cone denoted 60. And lastly, medicine. So, record of Sumerian achievement, achievement in science and technology as presented by Kramer in 1948 and Brickman in 1990 are amazing and far-reaching, particularly in mathematics, engineering, architecture, agriculture, transportation, medicine. Sumerian doctors made use of assorted botanical, zoological, and mineralogical ingredients as materia medica in their prescriptions. The Sumerian civilization was gradually absorbed by the Semitic people who migrated to Mesopotamia from Arabia during the 2300 BCE and founded the great empires of Babylonia, Assyria, and Persia. So, Materia Medica is the body of remedial substances used in the practice of medicine. So, uh, the root of uh, medicine practices or med uh, and other related uh, fields uh, originated on this civilization. And the influence of Sumerian civilization to other great civilization 
is very evident in their practice of uh, yon, a mathematics, engineering, architecture, agriculture, transportation, and medicine. And until now, there are things that we got from Sumerian civilization. Okay? So, to end with, let us ponder on this question. What do you think is the most vital contribution of the Sumerian civilization? Explain briefly. Uh, two to three sentences only. You can comment your answer in our FB group. FB group. Okay? And continue your assignment number 1.3 where in which you will uh, record or you will make a creative slide presentation of two invention discoveries per time. Ancient, medieval, uh, modern, and the Philippine context. Okay? So I hope you got uh, something from Sumerian civilization. Next meeting, we will discuss Babylonian and Egyptian civilization. Okay? So, thank you. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.